All right. Overview of the course. We'll have a welcome. Uh, radio signals, electricity, components, circuits, propagation, antennas, and feed lines. So a lot of this information is going to seem difficult to everybody, but just remember, everybody, even, <coughs> even me, in 2000, December of 2013, I was a scoutmaster of uh, Troop 723 in Powder Springs, Georgia, and we decided to take the Radio Merit Badge, just like you guys are doing, a three Saturday session, and all the scouts that were in it got Radio Merit Badge. <coughs> One scout actually studied and passed the exam, along with his dad and myself, out of everybody in the troop. Uh, two other adults passed the, uh, the test, and we had a blast on the radio. And uh, that, that was a friend of mine, M1MN, Eldon Morris. And he was very, let's just say the day that I made technician, he says, when are you testing for general? <laughs> I am not kidding you. Before he even said congratulations, he said, great, when you tested for general. Oh, by the way, congratulations on passing technician. Amateur radio equipment, we'll have a bunch of different equipment and toys here probably next week to give you an idea about the different types of radios that are available. Um, communicating with other hands, how do you do it? We have multiple forms of communication. There's analog and there's digital. Not only is there digital using a computer, but there's digital using this radio here. This is actually a digital radio and an analog radio in the same package. This is a uh, VTEC 6X2 radio and hold up your Steve. And column 878 plus. So, if you look at the two radios, this one doesn't have a case. If you look at these two radios, what's different? The sticker. The sticker on the front and the button on top is a different color. Do you think they're made in the same factory, though? <laughs> they're only made by one guy in the garage in China. Yep. Yes. But these have FCC ID numbers. Yes. yes. Yeah, we, they are certified. No, these are. Yeah. No, the, 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 yeah. You have text to test the output of them? Yeah. 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 It's uh, no, no, uh, a. I was getting sued by the FCC for <coughs> non compliant uh, power and frequency modulation. Yeah, yeah. These, these are not. These good. have passed FCC testing. It's a, it's a one, 1 dB on the second harmonica, I believe. And there, there's 1 dB more than it's, it's allowed. I think it's allowed to be minus 26. And it's a minus 25. So, I mean, for something like that, no one will ever notice it. However, it's the rule. So, with this radio, if I go to analog, I can talk through a repeater. If I go to analog, I can talk radio to radio. It's called simplex. But the really cool part is. If I have this thing right here, this is a battery pack that solar charges. This is called a DMR hotspot. This connects to the internet, which is on my phone, which is getting warm. This is, it connects to the internet on my phone and allows me to talk across the world using my digital radio into the internet, into either TGIF or um, Brandmeister Networks, and I can talk to pretty much anybody I want to, I, who's out there, who's listening. You program this using what's called a CPS, a code plug software, and the first time you do it, Trust me, you're going to look at it and go, huh? Until Kevin comes back and he goes, let me walk you through this. <laughs> and about two and a half hours later on a Zoom meeting, you still look at it and go, huh? 
until you get in and actually play with it yourself, until you get in and actually break it and have to fix it yourself, <laughs> then you understand it. Magic smoke. Ma oh yeah. No, 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 magic smoke. No, no, no. no, no. This, this becomes a brick. It, it becomes a pack boy, smoke doesn't come out. <laughs> it's, it's really funny because when you break it properly, <laughs> when you break it properly, you look at it and go, why isn't it working? And you sit there and look and you go, oh, I changed that frequency. Huh, okay. And you, you go back and change it and everything comes up. Or when you set up a, a, a new talk group, one second. You set up a zone like I did. I got tired of trying to remember where all my zones were. I've got like 2,000 things programmed into this radio. Well, it's and only half full. It's only half full. And what I did was I went and I created everything as a zone. And all, all the little things I use right now are all in that one zone. So all I do is I twist the knob. I don't got to go jumping around anymore looking for things. It just made more sense to me. Any questions? Oh.